Hello and welcome back to The Shed. Today I'm going to show you my new scripts for stacking LRGB and narrowband monochrome data in Cyril. So without any further ado, let's go back to the desktop. Okay, so first up, let's just have a look at the folder structure for these uh, monochrome projects. We'll start off by having a look at uh, LRGB. So this is my home directory, uh, Cyril home directory for NGC uh, 6960. Within that, I've got uh, a number of subfolders. I've got a BIOSes folder if I'm using BIOSes, depending which script I'm using. And then we've got uh, LUM luminance, that is, red, green, blue folders, and a darks folder. So obviously we put the darks and biases uh, into these corresponding folders here. And then if I just open up one of the uh, the main channel folders, um, have a look at luminance within that, I've also got uh, two folders, one for flats and one for the lights. Uh, and I repeat that pattern for each of the other color channels. So again, flat slides for green, uh, red, and blue. So that's the setup. Uh, I've already actually populated some of these, uh, as you can see. So um, next thing we do is we'll go to Cyril. Open that up. Uh, we set a home directory which was already set actually, but to NGC 6960. Uh, that's fine. So I'm going to just get out of that in a minute. So here they are at the top. We've got these uh, eight new scripts. So um, the first four are for the LRGB channels. So uh, let's go for the lights, darks, flats, and biases script. Uh, as with the other scripts, we've also got relaxed versions of each of these scripts in case you do have some stacking issues. They're just a little less fussy, but we'll go for the stricter script, which is this one. And click Run Script. And this is going to run on for a little while. So uh, I will come back to you in a minute or two when it's finished. And there we have it. And it took to do that seven minutes, 40 seconds. I'll just stretch this and have a quick look at it. Um, so there it is, pretty bright. Um, if I just show you now what has been created. So uh, we've created um, six files here. We've got uh, the four channels, so the luminous red, uh, green and blue fits so that you can combine them combine them and do anything you like with them um, separately if you want. We've also got um, two which uh, have been combined already for you. So there's the uh, result LRGB uh, with all four channels and there's the result RGB with just the RGB channels. Now coming back to Cyril, just to give you a better idea actually, I'll just process it slightly for a minute. Um, I'm going to just stretch it. Um, if anything, I would probably, if I was doing this um, seriously, I would have manually stretched it because it's a bit further stretch than I really want it to be at the moment. Um, but what we can do is I'm just going to actually just go negative a bit, just sort of unstretch it a bit. Get it down to a level that I like. We'll say about there. Okay. And now we'll stretch it back forward, but going to just try and be a bit more selective about the way we stretch it. Uh, 
and we'll give it a bit of saturation. the same symmetry point I think anyway I won't go any further than that but that gives you certainly gives you an idea of um, how well it, it seems to work now you could obviously um, remove the stars from this that's probably would be and what I would normally do is spend a lot more time than that, remove the stars, process it all separately, um, and then put it all back together. Uh, and as I say, you've got the separate color channels, should you wish to um, play about with them and, and change the balance between them, that kind of thing. Um, you, can, you can combine them manually if you wish. Okay, so moving on now, I'm going to show you um, the narrowband equivalent, all very similar. Uh, but we'll just go back and we'll have a look at the folder structure for that a minute. Okay, so this one we're going to do the Rosette Nebula in a narrowband SHO sort of Hubble palette. Um, so I've got the home directory for Cyril, which is Rosette NB. Open that up. Once again, we've got a, a Biases folder and a Darks folder with the appropriate files in. Uh, and then we've got um, the three narrowband channels here. So we've got the um, the sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen alpha. Uh, and within them, we've got, again, a flats folder and a lights folder with the appropriate files in them. Exactly the same, really. And to be quite honest, there's, there's not much else in terms of difference. It's mainly a naming convention between this and the uh, RGB, except obviously we don't have the luminous channel in this case. Uh, so that's that one. We'll go back into Cyril. We'll change our home directory into the Rosette Nebula. And this time we use one of the um, the SHO scripts, so we'll use, again, the non-relaxed version, lights, darks, flats, biases script, and we'll run that. And there we have it, and that's done. So anyway, there's the uh, resulting stack file. Again, I could just do a quick, I'll do a quick stretch on it. As you can see, it, it wants a little bit of correcting now. This version is actually um, a, an HSHO file where I've put in the uh, hydrogen alpha as the luminous layer as well, which will give, just gives more detail. Uh, it, it makes it a lot sharper. Uh, and gives it more contrast. So, uh, I personally, I would usually use that variant, but I've also done, there is also just a plain SHO file without the Luminous addition there. Um, obviously, we can go in and just adjust things a little bit. Um, I would probably remove a bit of green here. It seems a bit a uh, bit too green for my liking. So maybe something like that. Just a little bit at a time, so I'll probably do that. Put three channels back in again. Maybe a bit of saturation just to see where we're going with it. Yeah, there you go. A bit of saturation. Uh, 
obviously you've got uh, the, the old slightly pink stars uh, we could just try a quick um, negative transformation to get rid of them and do uh, a remove green noise just see oh, what happens there I'll just go back there a minute and do a quick uh, remove green noise and see how much that's messed it up let's have a look not bad not bad and really you can just keep obviously you can just keep going with this uh, using various uh, types of stretch and uh, you know get a nice effect um, so I'll leave it at that anyway. I won't. I won't take that any further because I could just play with this all day. Um, it looks a bit blue now. Uh, I hope you find these tools useful. Um, as always, you will be able to download them from a link in the description. I'd love to see some uh, results of your your work with these scripts, if, if at all possible. So please do post them somewhere. And um, I hope to see you again in the next video. But in the meantime, bye for now.